That's right. Welcome to the side of the room because it's time for some ringside rumors. Three top rumors for you, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into it. Our first top rumor, sources told Sports Illustrated that WWE's introduced new titles for Roman Reigns, Oscar, and Rhea Ripley because Triple H, quote, wanted to freshen up all the titles and present a new look. If you want to freshen up the titles and present a new look, you'll give uh, Stone Cold the, the, no, you'll have Stone Cold make the Smoking Skull uh, uh, title, you know? If you want to present, you know, a new look, you'll have The Miz turn the W upside down. At least that's something. I don't know. Like, the new look is just the old title, except now it's gold, and that's pretty much it. Asuka's title is Roman's title, except it's white. Rhea's title is just Seth's title, except it's just white. None of these titles are, like, you know, new and exciting and creative and innovative and anything like that. And I'm not saying that they have to, like, shoot fireworks and the straps have to be made out of velvet and you can, like, you know, scratch and sniff them. But, like, what are you talking about? You want them to be new. Nothing is new. It's all pretty much the same exact thing, you know, and I really just don't like how the titles just, they, there's nothing distinct about them, like nothing. The literally only distinct thing about either of the titles is one is black and one is white, that's it. That's the only thing different about them is the straps, that's it. Nothing else is different. There's nothing distinct about any of the titles, and I really do not like how Triple H is trying to insinuate, ah, uh huh? Right? Look at that! I mean, come on! I, what could be more, I don't know, new than the same logo that we've had for the last, like, seven, eight years, except now, the shaft's a different color, oh, and also the back plate's a different color, too, oh, you know? It's like, come on! Our next top rumor, BWE tweeted that we should expect to see WWE continue to move talent around until they balance every brand. BWE specifically says a few NXT wrestlers will be moving to Raw and SmackDown, but Ia Dragunov, Braun Breaker, and more will have their time before moving. So I don't particularly know what that means. I know what that means. I know what it means. I know what it means. But, like, does that mean that everybody on Raw and SmackDown, like, aren't currently balanced right now? Does that particularly mean that, like, what? Wait a second. Hold on. A Come back. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Turn around. Turn around. Come here. So what was the draft for, then? The draft kind of just feels like a smack in the face if everybody still isn't like completely balanced out and also you've got like you know a bunch of free agents why didn't you just put them on like raw or smackdown or nxt if it if right now right it still feels like you're shuffling everybody you know the thing with the card and you put the cards in and, the, and it does the auto thing why are you why are we still doing this i don't understand why this is still happening you you could have just like you i don't know why didn't you just make sure that everybody was on the brand that you wanted them to go on or you just you just tossed them onto like a different brand it just it it feels like <laughs> you didn't particularly know what to do with everyone and now you're kind of just like well you know now we have all these people kind of just floating around so we should probably do something with them you know it's like it just i don't this feels so like what's the word uh uh like just un unbalanced i know that uh you know obviously given what we're talking about but like in, in, in more ways than one, it doesn't feel balanced. It really does feel like they don't particularly know what to do with everybody. And it doesn't help that, like, they don't know, like, what storylines to put them in. So they're kind of literally just, like, floating around and, like, okay, well, go over there. Or actually, no, come back over here. You know, like, I mean, okay, I like that. I guess. I, I guess I like that they're keeping certain people on certain brands, I guess. But, like, hearing the fact that they're still, until they balance every brand... Uh, I, I just, it just doesn't feel like, <laughs> it feels like they don't know what they're doing. It feels like they kind of like started out doing something and then we're like, okay, um, now what? Or, oh, this didn't work out. You know, it just, it, I don't understand what, what am I, what do you mean? What am I meant to be taking away from this? That nothing is like 100% finished and that I still have to be waiting for everybody to be going to like different brands. I mean, if you're talking about free agents then it's like, all right, they kind of get a pass, you know, because like they're not on anything. But if the whole point of this is to balance every brand, then you might as well have just taken all the free agents and done something with them when the draft was going on. I, I guess just wait until, you know, you know, you, you know, you got like, like sand or something. You got to or no, um, um, you got like cake batter and you got to slam the cake to get all the bubbles out and stuff like that, you know? So I, I guess we're just waiting while they're doing that, I guess. Our final top rumor, AEW and the elite of Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, and Hangman Page haven't agreed on new contracts yet, but the sides have been closed for several months, according to Fightful Select. 
The site adds, quote, Those we spoke with in AEW were confident they'd retain the elite, despite CM Punk returning to the company. WWE sources told Fightful the company, quote, Absolutely have interest in all four, but it's not believed they have a chance to even negotiate with the elite. That's because while it's not clear exactly when each man's AEW deal is up due to variables like injury time and option years, WWE is, quote, Nowhere near being legally allowed to talk to any of them. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I do remember saying something along the lines of no one's leaving. Listen, all right, you can hate CM Punk all you want. I really don't think that it is going to, uh, what's the word? It's not going to like, you know, monkey flip your day. I highly doubt that that's going to happen. I highly doubt that that's going to happen. Um, man, I swear I remember talking about that like way, way back in the day, especially during the uh, all out brawl out situation. Like I specifically... I specifically remember saying, like, bro, like, no one's going to do anything. Obviously, everybody is going to be, like, all up in their feelings about the whole situation. But, like, at the end of the day, like, I, I highly doubt that anybody is going to do anything as drastic as leaving the entire company, you know? Like, even, I don't know. I, I, it, I <sighs> Where do I even begin? Collision started because of CM Punk. The whole thing about Collision was that people didn't want to work with the guy. So Tony Khan was like, okay, I'll just make a whole separate brand so that if you don't want to work with him or her or them or that, you know, you can just go on to this brand. And then uh, Tony Khan was like, oh, soft brand split. And then soft brand split to hard brand split. And it's like, what? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, the, moving, back to, uh, moving back to the Elite. Okay, the Elite... I don't think are really going anywhere, and I highly doubt the Elite were going anywhere because of CM Punk, right? And now you you also have to factor in, uh, you know, the option years, you know, how long they want to stay and stuff like that, and, you know, them being injured and everything, you know, especially with Kenny Omega, that's really how this, that's really where the injury thing is coming from, is because Kenny Omega got injured, and Tony Khan was like, well, I'm not just gonna, you know, not give you the years, you know, so you can add that to your contract and stuff like that, and I don't remember when their contract is actually up, I don't think it's up, at, like, anytime soon, soon, you know, like, I don't think they're leaving in the next like couple months but it's i would argue that it's like mjf i would argue that um you know it's it's gonna be up next year sometime next year and you know i mean wwe obviously sounds like they have uh you know a large interest in them and i mean you'd be remiss if you didn't have any interest in them but right now they can't do anything but even then i the same thing i said last time we talked about this i really don't think that they're going anywhere i i don't know man i feel like they are AEW diehards you know i think john moxley is the same like i like this company i like what i can do i like the freedom that i have i like the the creativity that i'm given you know like i really do not think that the elite are are gonna be going anywhere you know, like, it just, it just does not seem likely. Never say never. I always say that, because I could always be wrong, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? But there, there's just something in my body, in my soul, in my heart, my being, right? That is just saying, like, bro, that, that, there's no way that's happening. I feel like I've said this already, but, like, you know, there's not really much else we can do other than just wait and see. Really, if WWE... I'm really curious as to how WWE's gonna... Like, if WWE really, really, really wants the Elite... I want to see how WWE is going to do it, so we just got to wait and see how that turns out. Moving over to our minor rumors, WWE is discussing having two NXT titles involved in SummerSlam or during SummerSlam week per BWE. I don't want to say, I don't, okay, I don't want to say that it defeats the purpose of NXT TakeOver. I don't want to say that, but it kind of does. Because the, I feel like the whole point of the NXT takeovers is to have NXT have their own like separate pay-per-views. Because at that point, you're having way too, the, the card is too bloated. You're going to have like 9, 10, 11 matches because you have to make room for the NXT championship feuds and the regular feuds and stuff like that. So NXT has their own stuff going on, you know, specifically so that, you know, you don't have to worry about anything like overlapping too much. So I feel like if you're getting an NXT title, I mean, okay, I don't, I'm making it sound like they're specifically going to start putting NXT on the main roster uh, pay-per-views, and I don't think that that's the case. I think what they're doing, <clears throat> that they are just, you know, getting like one or two titles involved, because they also said SummerSlam week, but they've been doing that already, you know, with the WrestleMania week and all that sort of stuff, like, they've had pay-per-views take place literally the night before wwe pay-per-view i don't know why i'm saying that you get the point right so i don't really think that this is a gigantic change i get what they're doing i get what they're doing i get it i get it i get it they're again it's the whole third brand situation right you're essentially just trying to make nxt you know um right on par with wwe and all that sort of stuff so like i completely understand like why they're doing it but at the same time 
I, I, you know, I, I don't think I. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You can have it be on Summer Slam week, and I don't know. I don't know. You don't have to do that. I don't know. I guess we just gotta wait and see if they're gonna do it with Summer Slam, and then like another pay per view, like Money in the Bank and stuff. So. Um, oh yeah, Money in the Bank, and then SummerSlam. Oh man, I gotta remember that. Yeah, well, then, there you go. I mean, the fact that they're not doing it with Money in the Bank, I guess, you know, tells you everything you need to know, so. Maybe this is gonna be a one and done thing, but who's to say? We'll have to wait and see. A final minor rumor, Sports Illustrated reports that given our damage control story has been playing out on screen over the past several months, it's not surprising that they've had behind-the-scenes discussions about turning EO Sky face and having her feud with Bailey. So, uh, there was an article, I guess? I was on Twitter yesterday. And somebody had like an excerpt from what looked to be like an article or something about uh, who's he, what's his face Triple H um, being high on Eos Sky, right? And he was ba the article was ta talking about this pretty much about turning Eos Sky face and having the, uh, her go against Bailey, and that is great. My problem is that I feel like it's just a bit late now. You've kind of already like. Ba I know that Backlash gave you everything that you needed to know about how everybody feels about EO Sky. Great. But it's too late now. Well, no, that's not true. 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 She's in Money in the Bank. So if she doesn't win Money in the Bank, then I am going to scratch my head until I reach the bone. Because if Triple H is all over, I should really shouldn't be saying it like that. If Triple H likes EO Sky, right? Thinks she's the bee's knees. Not having a win money in the bank would be a gigantic missed opportunity. So, hopefully, that is what happens. And hopefully, this equates to a championship reign of some kind. Otherwise, I don't know what we're talking about. What did we talk about? Triple H wants to freshen up the titles and present a little look. Wow, man. I uh, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. All the titles look exactly the same. There's literally no difference between any of them. They are all the exact same. Gold and WWE logo. And then uh, women here have a white strap. It's so stupid. You might as well just make the straps pink for the love of God. Make the straps pink for the boys and, I mean, blue for the boys and pink for the girls. I'm going crazy, man. The titles are literally not different. It doesn't make any sense. Two NXT titles involved in SummerSlam or during SummerSlam week. Or during SummerSlam week. I don't like the or because if you're having a conversation about putting them on SummerSlam, then having them on SummerSlam week means that you essentially were just like, actually, you know what? Never mind. You know, so hopefully, I, okay, I, I don't know what they're doing with SummerSlam. I hope, well, I don't hope actually, because then that just means that the car is going to get like really cluttered. So again, you don't have to do this. This is unnecessary. Ken also tweeted, we should expect to see, okay, again, with the moving talent around, I, it's like, okay, but like, what was the draft for then? You know, you had all these people, you know, floating around and you could have done something but like you didn't you know because if you're still if you still feel like you need to move people around and that clearly means that the draft did not do what it was intended to do in the first place it, it essentially just means that the draft was kind of just like a faux draft and you're still kind of like you know doing everything behind the scenes so i guess we just have to wait and see how it turns out i suppose uh damage from the player behind the scenes eo sky phase that uh, fine fine i'm that's not the issue the issue is that if you're going to do it have her win money in the bank and if you're gonna have her win money in the bank then have her win the championship so and wwe wants the elite but the elite are not really planning on go it doesn't really seem like the elite are planning on going anywhere anytime soon at least you know as far as i'm concerned right as uh, if you ask me i don't really think that they're doing anything it sounds like wwe wants them you know super bad you know but uh i really do not think that the wwe is going to be able to get them i don't think tony khan has to try very hard you know to try and keep them i think that wwe is going to be like you know they're going to wave the money in front of them and the elite's going to be like no nah, man we're all good you know so like i said i'm very curious to see how wwe is going to try and uh what's the word you know get them to come over there you know so i i, I really just want to see how that's going to turn out that's going to be very interesting folks that's going to do it for this episode hopefully everybody has a wonderful tonight and a wonderful tomorrow and as always big hugs big hugs all around